Do you struggle with your decision making and composure in games? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn for the Sports Psychology Podcast. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you need to do to have more composure and be more decisive when shooting. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question that I received from Murray. Murray said, I feel like my decision making in matches isn't where it should be. I know I can shoot the ball from anywhere in the 45 on either foot, but I lack composure. How can I improve my composure and ability to take those shots? So there's several components here, Murray, to your question. I want to start by saying, while well, you're not being decisive, but you're losing composure, and I'm assuming that there's some confidence issue there. So this is a three for one, really. This is about confidence to shoot, composure when you're on the ball and ready to shoot or have an opportunity to shoot, and then being decisive. Let's talk about the decisive part of that first. You're not decisive probably because you're second-guessing your decisions. When athletes aren't decisive, they're indecisive for two reasons. Number one, they can't make a decision. Do I pass? Do I shoot? Do I dribble? They get caught in between what their plan is going to be and then get trapped. That's classic indecision. But there's another form of indecision as well, and that's when you make a decision, why well, I'm going to shoot, but then you go, well, there must be a better play or there must be a better option here because you're looking for the perfect play. So that second guessing will also lead to indecision or you just trapped as well. As an athlete, you have to be committed and decisive out there. What I usually recommend to soccer players, for example, is they need to be very decisive with what they're doing. Well, how do you be decisive? You play athletically and you don't second guess and question your decisions. Typically, you want to go with your first instinct. Whatever your eyes or the input of your eyes are telling you, you want to go with that. Next, the part about composure may be a little bit about you're anxious about scoring or you're worried about not hitting the ball on net, or you're concerned with the outcome, or what teammates think, like, is this the right time to shoot for you, for example? So a lot of things can affect that composure. First thing is, calm down. Don't get overexcited about scoring. So focus more on the ingredients of that scoring opportunity. Think about your target. Think about the type of kick that you want to make, for example, or the type of shot that you want. What corner of the goal? And, you know, planning your foot. Little things that helps you in the process rather than focusing and getting too excited or too bent out of shape about the outcome. Lastly, I think there's some confidence issues there in your ability to shoot. You said that you know you can shoot with both feet but I don't think you're fully trusting that from your practice. And thus, if you're not trusting that, then you could lose confidence with that as well. So make sure if you can do 8 out of 10, you can hit your target 8 out of 10 in practice, you have to trust it in the game knowing that it's good enough. Hey, if you want some help with your mental game, jump over to peaksports.com. Um, and click on coaching or mental coaching there, and you can check out our programs. We do very comprehensive one-on-one -on -one mental coaching programs that include two assessments at the minimum. We also give you four sessions, and we give you a sports-specific workbook program if we have it, like for soccer or tennis or for football. We have all those. Or we give you some general workbooks as well included in the program. And that's what we do in the mental coaching. It's a one-month mental coaching program. Hey, thanks for your question and good luck with your game.